Hi, my name is Naomi Park, and I'm so excited to represent the United States in the Stockholm Junior Water Prize. Today, our planet faces grave challenges from three pervasive contaminants. First, the atmospheric concentration of carbon dioxide is saturating our atmosphere, directly leading to ocean acidification, which directly endangers coral reefs and entire ecosystems. Second, 1.3 million gallons of toxic crude oil are spilled into oceans every year, and current removal methods, such as oil booms, only contain visible surface contamination, leaving behind toxic soluble oil that continues to contaminate even more water. Lastly is plastic pollution, in particular styrofoam waste. In search of a solution, I discovered hypercrossing polymers, otherwise known as HCPs, which essentially, because of their high porosity and surface area, are able to efficiently capture and remove contaminants. However, many challenges remain in terms of cost and implementation. Inspired by Dong et al.'s work in hypercrossing polymer technology, in my research I utilized waste styrofoam to create a remediation device called the Multifunctional Remediation Framework, or MFRF, that can be meaningfully and practically implemented in a plethora of ways targeting the removal of crude soluble oil and carbon dioxide pollutants from water, ultimately aiming to solve these three detrimental environmental problems. My results indicate that not only does the MFRF exhibit effective remediation capability in separate contaminated solutions of the oil and CO2, but also has this ability to remove multiple contaminants simultaneously. On top of that, I've conducted extensive life cycle assessments such as stability, reusability, and longevity that highlight that the device is stable and safe for marine life, it can be reused, and the contaminants of CO2 and oil can also be collected and reused, creating this cycle that is both economically viable and environmentally sustainable. As such, the MFRF's deployment not only addresses the pressing issues of oil spills and CO2 pollution, but also actively mitigates the accumulation of styrofoam waste in landfills. It is my hope that the MFRF can advance water remediation efforts and pave the way towards a cleaner, more sustainable future.